Tolly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so in this video I wanted to talk about, you know, we're always looking at other people and how successful they are and what a wonderful life they must have. And I'm here today to tell you that everyone has problems. You know, from the people that have millions and billions of dollars to the people that have nothing to eat for three or four days. Everyone has problems. There is no perfect life. And the moment you start to observe your own life and you start to observe yourself and how you can be a better person, rather than always looking at what everyone else is doing outside of you and how wonderful that life over there looks, is the moment that your life can start to take off. Because we're always so busy comparing, comparing our lives to others and how well they must be doing because they have a nicer house or how well they must be doing because they have a nicer car or maybe they've got two cars and you've only got one. But in a world, you know, where there are children that don't have food to eat and they don't have clothes to keep them warm in winter or shoes, because I've lived in places where there are children that don't have shoes in winter and it's freezing cold to keep their feet warm. Really, in the grand scheme of things, having that extra bedroom in the house, it's not that important. Having that extra car, it's not that important. You know? So, just because someone looks like they've got it made and their life is wonderful, it doesn't mean that's the truth of it. So, what you can do for yourself today is start to look at your life and what you can do to improve. You know, can you listen more to your kids when they come to talk to you? Can you be a better listener? Engage with them more, ask them how their day was, if this is something that you haven't done before. How can you make your life better, rather than looking at what everyone else is doing out there? That's, that's their life, that's their experience, it's not yours. You know, at the end of the day you're going to look back on your life, not what your neighbour was doing, or the person down the street, or the millionaire that lives in another country that you've been admiring their life for so long. That's their life, it's not yours. You know? And for the longest time, it's funny, we're having this conversation now. For the longest time, I used to think of things that I regret in my life. You know, people talk about the regrets of things they did or they didn't do. And I really, I honestly, with my heart, I don't believe that there is such a thing. Because if you look at every moment that you've been through. If you've read the book, then you'd, under you'd understand exactly what I'm talking about. Every moment that you've been through has given you something, something important about who you are. Everything, whatever the situation may be, even the crappiest job that you've taken so far, you might think, oh, what a waste of time. That was such a crappy job. But look at it, really look at it. And you'll find that even in that crappy job, you learnt something. You know, you either learnt that you could pick up the phone and talk to people, which you couldn't do before, and you became comfortable with that. You know, you might have learnt something about yourself. You know, you maybe you went into the job afraid that you couldn't do that job, and you know, one month later, there you are, doing that job. So that gives you confidence in who you are that you could learn how to do it and you could do it. There is no crappy job. There is no moment in your life that, oh, what a waste of time. I wish I hadn't have done that. Or I wish I'd have changed that or done something differently because it's all there for you, all of it. Even the worst experience is all there for you. It's all there to show you either how brave you are, how strong you are, the person that you are inside. A lot of things that happen to us are to wake us up. And so that's something else to think about. Was that a wake up moment? Wake up to your life. Wake up to who you are. 
you know? Uh, I think, okay, say for example, you've been raped, okay? And it's a horrible situation that this has happened to you, but it's your body. If you can separate yourself from it, it's your body, okay? Someone took over and disrespected you and they did something to you against your will, against what you wanted. They disrespected you as a person. Okay, but the physical act is just your body and it's just a physical act. It's what happens mentally after that's the problem. But you have to think to yourself, that is not who I am. I don't have to live the rest of my life angry that I was disrespected by these people and that they did that to my body. I can choose to move away from that, not live in that anger or that fear that that's going to happen again. Or the sadness. You might feel overwhelmed with sadness that this happened to you. But that's not who you are. It happened to you. So let's see if we can understand this together. Okay, it was an experience, it was an event. It happened to you. But it's not who you are. Okay, so who you are is what's in here, what's inside that body. They can't take that away from you. Nobody can take that away from you. That body, when you pass away, you can't take it with you. The physical body, you can't take it with you. Your spirit, what's inside of you, the part that is beautiful, the part that is full of love and is waiting to go into the world. This love that's waiting to be expressed is inside of you. So these are the things that you need to start to think about, of who you are. To start look at, looking at your life, looking at what's important, what matters, and letting go of what doesn't. But you have to understand the beliefs that you created around it, all the thoughts, so that you can let go of it. You know, events happen to us in our life and they're there for a reason. So you have to stop and think about that. What were you meant to learn about yourself? How resilient you are, how strong you are. It takes a lot to go through a traumatic experience and come out the other end and still have a heart full of love. But that's what you're aiming for. Because everything else will take away from who you are. Everything else you hold on to about the experience that doesn't make you feel good about who you are. They'll take away from you, from who you really are, and it'll stop you from giving of who you are. All right, my darlings, really think about it. Think about it. You don't have to keep living the way you do. Every minute of every day you have a choice to look at yourself for the valuable human being that you are. And to start looking at every event that's happened to you and look for the value in each event. What were you meant to learn about yourself from that experience? What can you get out of that experience? Where's the gift? That's what you're aiming for. All right, my darlings. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video, okay? I love you guys. Bye for now.